<clears throat> hey guys, listen to this new intro track by me. Enjoy. Games. Video games, board games, I like all games. Card games, I even like playing mind games. Tell me I'm too old to play games then. I will give you a perfect KO like Tekken. Alright, boom. Let me just put this out there. I don't think I will ever stop playing games. I don't give a crud. I could be 64 years old with grandkids and I would still smash them at Mario Kart. No sorries given. Not one sorry given. Oh, come on. Mm, hit you with the red shell and for the win, yes! Ha, I told you, I told you. Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Why are you crying? We don't have no wimps around here. You want your mommy? You want your daddy? Well, get your mommy and daddy and grandpa will school them too. Ha! We don't have no losers in this family. But Grandad, if we all play, one of us has to lose, so how can we all be winners? Uh, we will play teams later. I, I, I don't know what it is. I think I just like being competitive, okay? I like competition, if I'm good at it, that is. If I'm good at it, you're gonna know about it. And here's why playing games at an older age shouldn't be a problem. Most retired athletes wish they could go back in their field of sport, but physically, their body cannot do that. But with games, it's not physical. Kind of. Your body doesn't have to worry about picking up a controller or rolling a dice or picking up a card unless you suffer from arthritis, in which case, I'm very sorry. Why do I have two extra limbs? But to those that don't, it ain't a problem. So, to those lovely people that feel that they're justified to tell us what age we should stop playing games at, please, please, baby, please, leave us kiddos alone. If we can't tell you what to do to be happy, then please, please, do me a favor and follow suit. Sincerely, as he animates.